Hey, hello and welcome once again to my YouTube channel, Just Reflex Image. If it's your first time visiting, don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and also turn on the notification icon. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. So in this video, we won't be doing much in this video. What I'll just be doing is actually how I added this happy birthday text. How I turned it into his notice text and I paste it at the back of my picture. So it's not just every time, you just have to do very, very complex modification. Just do something simple, then you call it a day. Your yeah, picture is still going to look nice as long as your grading is right, your grading is right, etc. Et et so here's what my picture looked like before. So as you can see, not, if you notice, there's no Canva backdrop on the initial backdrop. So we just add Canva and write the text, create this note effects, make something like that of it. Some of you might think note effects just based on shapes alone, based on shape, optical notes. There are so many things you can do with note effects apart from shape. You can even use a picture as a, as a note effect at the back of your picture. So there are so many things we can talk about on Snoot Effect, but today we'll be using text as our Snoot Effect. The first thing you need to do is to duplicate your background layer. This layer over here, let's just name it Formality. Or let's name it Sample Layer. This is a Sample Layer. Because we are not using this layer over here. I just created this layer to do what? To just show us before and after. So, our background layer, go to your background layer, then duplicate it by clicking your Ctrl J on your keyboard or Command J if you're using a MacBook. Once you're done with that, then you select your subject by using the selection tool you know how to use most. We have the quick selection, we have the polygonal, we have the lasso, we have the magic. So I already have my selection because I've worked with these pictures already. I've smoothed in the background, etc. etc. So I'll just go to select, I'll go to load selection, and here is the name of my selection. As you can see, I'm done with my selection right now. Easy peasy. I'll just right click on it, then I'll go to feather, click on feather. I'll be feathering by two pixels. So that's what I use mostly in most of my picture. I'll click on my OK. Then I'm going to click on my Max too. So what I did is I separated my subject from the backdrop, as you can see. I have my subject in a different layer, and I have my backdrop. So before we create this note effect, let's go to our file manager and bring in a Canva backdrop for my picture. So I'll go to where my backdrop is. The backdrop I love using the most. So all these files are available for sale on my store. You can just go and make purchase today. They are available for sale. They Christmas files are also available for sale now. They are available in my collection for sale. So yes, here's, here's the Canva I love using the most. If you have to watch most of my videos, this is the Canva I use the most. So we'll just drag it down to my Photoshop. I'm going to expand it from the side. I expand it. I'll click on my OK once I'm satisfied with what I need. Then I'll change the blend from normal. I'll bring that to soft light. Position I'm facing right now is it actually came in with its own color. So control U on it. And that saturation to desaturate it. Click on OK. But it's a little bit too strong for my liking. Let's go to filter. Under filter, I'll go to blur. I'll go to Gaussian blur. So I'm going to blur it out a little. I think 18 pixels is OK. And I'll click on my OK. And my picture is already looking very, very nice. Here's the before and after of just the Canva backdrop we're bringing right now. Next thing we do right now is to do what? To go to our text tool. You can click on T on your keyboard, or you can just go to the text tool. So click on the document. Then let's write text you want to write. Happy birthday. H A P P Y. Enter key. B I R T H D A Y. So click on OK. Ctrl T for free transform to actually expand the text. You can see right now. So I don't like the font it's actually giving me right now. So I'll just go to my character. If your character is not here, just come to window, under window, scroll down to see your character. You can see? Going to load up for you like this. So I'm going to change my font to Comic Stand. That's the font I love using the most, or something like this. Comic Stand. Yes, this is it. This is the font. I love the way it is. I'm going to change it to just body alone. I don't want body italic. And I'm going to increase the text till I see fit. I'm going to drag it down till I see fit. What is giving me what I want? Click on OK. Don't worry about the color. We don't need the color for anything. Then we need all this for anything. All I just need to do is hold down my control key. Come to the layer of this my uh, happy birthday here. Click on it. As you can see, it brought the selection of what we need for us. So just turn this off right now. The happy birthday layer, turn it off. Then go to your adjustment layer. Under the adjustment layer, click on your curves. Click on curves. Under the curves, drag it from the middle, drag it up. See you see fit. See you see fit. Click on OK. This is looking very, very nice, but it's not looking hyper realistic. Then close this up. 
click on the max click on the max then go to the property automatically if you click on the max supposed to op open the property bar for you but i don't know why mine is not doing the same for me now under the feather you create the feather you see if it's you see actually looking more like it's not the feather right now let's see if we actually achieve same thing in the first one you can see it's almost the same thing just that the leveling is actually different so with this right now you can just make a very very nice good effect you might even write the person it might not be happy birthday it might be anything it might be any shape so smooth smooth effect is not uh focus on just shapes alone there are so many things you can do with smooth effect including our picture you can use that picture as smooth effect and you're going to get something nice out of it i hope this video helps it actually does don't forget to like and subscribe and also share with your friends i wonder how they might be in need of this so see you guys in my next video reflex out so in case you're interested in getting any of my picture editing file from my overlays down to my color lookup which is my lot file so you just have to scroll down to your video so under the comment this is my description so it's not going to load the description for you, you just have to click on show more click on it so it's going to show all the options once it does that just click on my store link so here's my store link once you click on it it's going to take you directly to my store so you can actually select any file you want from the color lookup this is a light skin lots this is a feather which i use in my recent video this is 100 premium baby overlays this is my fourth video course this video course entails on how to download all the files i want the site i use in downloading all my files free of charge including my photoshop panels also this includes my png files this includes all my packs all my picture editing files my premium overlay my png my flying fabrics my color lookup my presets so once you buy this you've already bought everything apart from this one so here is my flying fabrics here is my in case you want to give me any project for me to work on here is my color lookup here is my background overlay and here is my presets file so in case you're interested in buying anyone you can actually go for them the good news there is that you can actually buy your own currency any currency of your choice you can buy with any currency of your choice welcome to my channel please do subscribe to my channel so that you can stay updated about my latest video you get notified so i will stay updated and know when i drop a new video and most of my video are going to help you when it comes to manipulation aspects so that's all you just need to do is subscribe just click on subscribe button and it's totally free you won't be charged a dime for it so subscribe